not rightly dividing can just mess you up spiritually so much that we don't even realize the areas that we are messed up in. It goes back to the old saying, you don't know what you don't know. In our current dispensation of grace, you can only be saved by grace through faith. In other words, this previous Peter's gospel, John's gospel, repent and be baptized, do this and do this, uh, endure to the end. That has not been available since the cross, but people still latch on to it and still include that as part of their theology, thereby reckoning, have I done enough? Which gives you no peace. Read, you see so many sour Christians. Mm -hmm. How can you have peace if you don't know whether or not you're enduring to the end? You can even find that same sentiment in uh, Revelations. Last paragraph on 74. If you believe in the gospel of grace, you know you are saved because you are sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. After that you believed, you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. Jerry, I think amens are going to be few and far between today. <laughs> Top of page 75. 2 Corinthians 1. It says, Who hath sealed us and given us the earnest of the Spirit in our hearts? So we've been sealed by the Spirit. When are we sealed by the Spirit? The moment you believe. Right. Ephesians 1 13. In whom ye also trusted when? After that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. Amen. So what salvation today? You hear the word of truth. Mainly Paul's message on the cross. He said, I preach the cross. Paul's definition of salvation, probably the best he gave, was in 1 Corinthians 15, verses 1 through 4. It's the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ. So what has to happen? Ephesians 1.13 again. We trust after we hear the word of truth. So the word of truth has to be presented. The gospel of your salvation. The word of truth of the gospel. So the gospel has to be the correct gospel. has to be the gospel of grace in whom after ye believed. So we hear the word of truth. We trust, have faith in it. We believe it just like Abraham. God gave him a word. I believe that's right. I don't have anything to prove it's right. If I was Abraham, you know, how am I going to prove it? Can't prove it. But I'm going to believe what I hear. So after we believe, we're sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. I don't have to wait till my deathbed. I don't have to wait till after I wake up after death.
Have you ever have you ever thought that you never you lose consciousness? It's the only, and this is where really come in where the tomatoes start flying. The only way you can be saved, sent to cross, is by grace through faith. Amen. That's the reason the devil fights grace so much. He doesn't care if you want to try to endure to the end. That's right. He'll probably even help you. Ephesians next for Ephesians four thirty, and grieve not the Holy Spirit whereby you are sealed unto the day of redemption. So it also says, don't grieve the Holy Spirit by trying to do other things. So, or at least the way I look at. It. Next paragraph, 1 Corinthians 12. For by one spirit, for by one spirit, in other words, this is not man. Capital S. Capital S. And I even went back and capitalized one. <laughs> it wasn't capitalized in the verse. For by one spirit, are we all baptized into one body? Amen. Had nothing to do with water. Just because you see baptized, we're preconditioned to think of water. Whether we be Jew, Gentile, whether we be bond free and have been all made to drink of into one spirit. We're all baptized into one body. What is that body? The body of Christ. Man cannot put you in the body of Christ. Man cannot make you a new creature. Water will not make you a new creature. Amen. You cannot make yourself a new creature. Correct. So it's all, it's all about becoming that my spirit is now not aligned with evil, but my spirit is aligned with good. I am a new creature instantly by being in that one body. Today, and I, you can put Right there, probably, since a cross. Today, when we are, at least since Acts chapter 9, today, since we accept Christ as our Savior, the Holy Spirit baptizes us into the body of Christ, not water. God's true church, his called out assembly of saints, the body of Christ. Not only that, the moment we believe, the Holy Spirit indwells us. That's a seal. <coughs> we become the temple of the living God. Just as God resides inside the most holy place in the Israel temple in the Old Testament, so too God resides inside of us. Amen. And man cannot do that. Again, what's the difference between enduring to the end and our current means and method of salvation? Next paragraph. The moment we believed, the moment we believe, we are washed by the Spirit. 1 Corinthians 6, 11 says, And such were some of you, but you were washed, but ye are sanctified. So when do we get our sanctification? Instantaneously. It's not something we strive to achieve. But ye are justified. When does all that happen? Instantly. 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 The moment I believe. 
And I believe it's in that order. Although God does it quicker than the blink of an eye, he washes us, he sanctifies us, he justifies us. By the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. That's how that is accomplished. We are transformed by the Spirit, new creature, and translated into the kingdom of His dear Son. Amen. So we're transformed, but at the same time we're translated. Because we're placed in the body of Christ. We have to be transformed before we can be translated. Does that make sense? Colossians 1. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, whereby we became new creatures. So I've got to become a new creature. I've got to be transformed from this old man to the new man. And that new man is then translated into the kingdom of God, the body of Christ. Under the present dispensation of grace, since Paul's salvation in Acts 9, and since the Jerusalem Council meeting in Acts 15, where they decided that grace was correct and it was to be disseminated among all the churches, the only gospel available from that time forward is the gospel of grace. The only gospel by which one can be saved. We cannot go back and straddle the fence and say, ah, I'm going to cover all bases, which all of us have done. I'm going to get saved by grace, and I'm going to go back, and I'm going to pick up water baptism. I'm going to confess my sins. I'm going to repent. I'm going to do this and this. Therefore, I've covered my base, which is a... Nice word for covering something else. And in, and in the process, what are we doing? We're grieving the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Because the Holy Spirit was the one there, including God the Father, but he was the one there at the cross that saw Jesus, told him when give up his life. He knows that the sacrifice and propitiation for sin had been made and then we want to convince him that we want to add something else to that. Don't tell me that doesn't grieve him. 